What's up guys? We're going to do a nice little short tutorial today. It's going to show you how to correctly sort out your files um, for your models in uh, Maya and possibly any other program as well. Um, I've seen a lot of people that do sort of stuff on YouTube. Now I've sort of done it here where I keep all my sort of pictures dashed all across my desktop so you know I've got all these reference images here, project files here, different folders, oops, different folders in that here and what and I'm going to show you how to actually keep this all together and there's something in Maya that you can do <coughs> which is very helpful um, I think everyone should really do this if you open up Maya and you go to start a new project um, come up to file and go to project window and then what you can do is if you hit new then you can name this project so if I wanted to create um, I don't know a computer to call it computer this will be the name of the folder there we go location um, and I want it on my desktop, so you click on desktop and then set uh, select. So then this new folder will be created in the de on the desktop or this directory, whichever one you choose. And then here we go. We've got all these different things here. They keep them all the same, but I'm going to show you how to use these. If you just click accept, now what on the desktop I'll have a computer folder. There we go, and I have all these different folders. And this is a good structure to keep all your uh, assets in that because if you want to transfer computers and whatnot it keeps all the data together which is quite nice so say I wanted to I don't know create a model uh, there we go I've got a model so I can go to file save as I want to save my my scene here we go uh, throw it in desktop computer and it's in scenes yeah so I can just call it I don't know computer it's already chosen which folder I need because I've set my project to that. So do that computer. Uh, it's taking a while. Uh, con yeah, continue. And then there we go. You can go into the scenes folder and we've got our project file. Now, other things like images and source images, I usually split up my um, my files. So if I come into road. Mm, no, that's. See, this is something. That I sometimes do. You got all the files in one, which is okay. But I I tend to usually do that to start with, and when once the model's finished, I then convert it all into this folder structure. So let's go into FMC because I know what that is, and that's my um, cockpit model which I'm currently doing. So got all the scenes. We've got my main scene there, and then assets are all the FBX files that I export to either bake ambient occlusion maps or put them into marmoset so I've got each panel exported as an asset and pop in that folder uh, source images I keep all the textures in so the diffuse normal maps gloss maps all that kind of stuff um, and then images I keep PSD files I keep the UV snapshot files um, just to keep them separate from the actual textures um, and then what is there anything else I suppose I created an, another uh, folder called reference and that has some reference images in which all these on here need to actually go into there we go uh, replace yeah that's cool so now we've got a nice reference folder and that's all kept together and nicely and then you if you have any other like sound stuff you can pop them in there scripts you can pop them in there so you keep all your files for your certain project together so that's something which I uh, find quite useful and if you didn't know that it'll be a good method to use because um, you shouldn't really go wrong after this because you should know where everything is you won't lose any files so that's the main thing so I hope you like this guys only a short tutorial but we'll come on to some big ones next um, and I'll see you next tutorial then guys peace